let's get to know some of the important features of Enterprise Vault search. In the sidebar, the Favorites shows your saved searches and the Recent list. The Recent list shows all your recently run searches and recently accessed folders and items. You can also see your default archive groups and any custom archive groups that you may have created. You can preview messages and any attachments in the preview pane or open a preview in a new window. You can use the Reading Pane toolbar to download, move, copy, or delete a selected item. This is the Search pane. Here you can search for messages that contain specific words, numbers, or phrases. You can also construct complex queries that include query syntax, wildcards, and Boolean operators. Enter your search criteria. The Suggestions list appears as you type and helps you build a search quickly. The Search Query syntax lets you specify searches for a sender, recipient, date, attachment, and so on. Click the Search button to run the search. The Results pane shows the search results and highlights the search terms. You can include more than one archive or folder in your search by using the Search pane drop-down menu. You can select other folders and archives that you may want to include in the search using the Select Archive or Folders dialog box. Now let's switch to Advanced Search. You can build search queries without having to remember any syntax. You can add multiple search criteria to narrow the search results. All fields must match for an item to appear in the results. The search options vary with the type of archive or folder that you search. As an example, let's use the search criteria to find items that have email attachments. Run the search and view the results. You can customize the columns that are shown in the results pane. You can change the order and titles of the columns and add or remove columns. Enterprise Vault Search can also be opened in Microsoft Outlook. 